Everybody, welcome to another Blue Collar Beer Connoisseur. I'm your host, Shorty P. And I'm Duke. And this is Munkin, and that's Blondie. <laughs> All right. Glad you did that, because they didn't oh. know what was going on. Yeah, I definitely did not. Do I, do I need this? You do. <laughs> I would, to talk to I would say so. You probably need to move your chair forward, too, because oh. that's not going to reach you. You know, last time I tried to make it reach me, it fell. It fell off, yeah. Yeah. Let's not have anything else falling off because of me. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Skeeter, so, <laughs> everybody, thank you. It's Blue Collar Beer Connoisseur, your least favorite show that we produce. <laughs> yeah. yep, I'll take my it. shirt off. All right. Please continue not watching this show. <laughs> um, Goddamn. You gotta uh, start off with that. <laughs> no. So, today, uh, we're gonna be reviewing Clown Shoes uh, Beer uh, Octofest. Yes. Octofest. A uh, German style Marzen Ale. Duke, why don't you tell us about this beer? Because you are the one that brought it. Yeah, so uh, I like Clown Shoes beer, uh, and uh, <laughs> I liked everything that I've tried from them so far. It's and I saw Sideshow this. Bob. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's the best Sideshow Bob impersonation I got. Yeah. Our mission to produce beer without pretension while being free and a little crazy. Uh, it's a pint. Uh, con- this is a 5.5 ABV. It's brewed and canned by Clown Shoes Beer, Boston. And, comes in a four uh, pack, right? Comes in a four pack, and uh, for the four pack, it was only nine bucks. So that's, that's pretty not cheap. Bad. And we're talking pint glasses or uh, pint cans. That's, that's yeah, pretty full damn 16 good. Sixteen ounce. That's pretty damn good. Um, so uh, I don't know. And it's I, how much ABV? Uh, it's five point five. So that's a little lower than you normally get in a full pint can, yeah. I think. Yeah. But that's not always a bad thing, peeps. It's really not because uh, it's a, it's a lot of beer. For oh man, this is so damn good. It really is. Uh, yeah, I've taken one drink out of it while you were, and I can't wait to get the, to this review. Oh yeah, this this is going to be a highly rated beer, I think. So um, let's keep up with the theme and Monk. <laughs> let's let you go first. What do you think about this beer? Uh, it's good. Um, <laughs> I haven't actually had many Marzen style yeah uh, beers. That's one of my favorite styles. It yeah, I mean I can see why. Uh, there oh, aren't shit. as many selections. Uh, oh no! Oh, no, 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 no. Give her the glass. Give her the glass. Give her the glass. No, not your empty glass. glass. Not empty the glass. Full one. Why would you give her the full one? Because I get more beer, beer that way. No, but she's gonna. She's gonna oh, she's gonna be fucked up. She's gonna. <laughs> so bad. I need. I, hey. Let her pour it in there before it pours. It. It's fine. Oh, it's good. She's good. Oh dear God. <laughs> All right, all right, no, no, it's gonna. Okay, no, it's not. This I'm, is how wow, you start. Wow, you drink a lot. Holy <laughs> shit! Yeah, this is how you start a BCBC right here. Holy crap! Hey, is this all we have? Toilet paper? That's that's yeah. It. This is how shirts come off right here. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, mine's about to come off. Stay tuned. Dude. Actually, it's my pants. You all, they're all wet. Uh, well, I'm <laughs> Sorry, sure we babe. have those viewers too. <laughs> We gotta cater to as many people as are possible. Oh uh, yeah. Our viewers, yeah. are you a tits or an ass man? Because uh, comment below. We may have to <laughs> well, you. the ass is bigger than the tits, so unless you're me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. Damn. <clears throat> I do a lot of squats. <laughs> Squat booty. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Back so a, back on track. What l- I was saying. Lucky man, monkey. No, it's good. It's good. Um. Really, when I rate the beer that I'm drinking, it's usually based on whether or not I... The higher the rating is on a scale of, of zero to five, uh, the higher the number is, the more likely I am to buy it at any time. Mm-hmm. So yeah. if I rate something at 4.5 or up, it's going to be like, you know, I'm going to... I don't have to be in a specific mood to drink this beer. I'll drink yeah. it any time of the day. But if it's below that, you know, then you kind of have to have a certain mood or a certain right. situation where you would want to purchase this beer so same i mean are we ready for a rating or are we just discussing no we'll it? do that after okay so i mean yeah i like the the taste isn't really strong but what it gives you is good and the aftertaste doesn't linger so it's yeah i, I like it it's good yeah good description blondie what do you what are your thoughts on this beer uh <laughs> <laughs> i mean we know you think it's well, really eat with you think it's really foamy clear oh, hey the head's gone. I sucked it. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Most popular blue collar beer gonna soar in the I'm not even sure she can taste it right now. So that's what I, he, that's what she said. Yeah. yeah. I can taste it. And it's good. Tastes like beer. Tastes like good beer. 
All right. Shorty, <laughs> what do you think? I was trying to have a thought it's, there. It wasn't it's coming. It's sad that she's seeming so inexperienced because she is clearly not. <laughs> I, I mean, if you missed it, I had to suck a lot of it down because, you know, it was it, spilling and no, foaming and shit. Nobody missed that part. So. That, that never happens. <laughs> it's, it's good. Uh, yeah, Shorty? Um, man, it is really, I, and I say this about a lot of beers, but this time, I mean it, it's really clean and smooth. Mm-hmm. It's not your typical Mars in either. God, it is so smooth. It's almost, I think of it as like an IPA style Mars in. And it's, it's it's good for a light beer. It's really rich too. Mm-hmm. Um, I love everything about the flavor of this beer, man. I uh, God, I can't think of much I've had better than maybe uh, woo. I don't know. There's um, very few. This is right up there with the best beers I've ever had. Yeah, like the uh, the Erwise or the yeah, Browise. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, that's right up there. So Duke, what's on yours? Uh yeah so uh, I guess I don't know we're gonna do ratings because I've that's that's I've yeah, already you got to talk about it yeah and man can just start with the ratings yeah so um this is Excuse definitely me. like I said <laughs> this is it tastes more like an IPA than a Marzen but it's called Octofest so mm-hmm. they're not trying to sell it as an Octo and they said German style Marzen L so there's some difference in there they they were very specific specific about pacific very <laughs> very specific about what they were trying to get across and and uh what they wanted this beer to taste like so i'm i'm super stoked that this isn't a letdown because right how you fucking label your beer definitely determines how i rate it and you know there's a giant fucking octopus uh you know busting in with a german hat with some drinking <laughs> glasses and shit yeah and uh you can't fucking not like something that has that on the camera. right all right so, so monk what's your rating well while you guys were chatting about the beer, I googled Marzen just to be more familiarized with what exactly where it originated. Mm-hmm. It said Bavarian style, um, and it was kind it's of ironic. German. Yeah, it said the very first the very first comparison it brought up was Hacker Shore. Oh, really? Which is cool because that's one of the first beer. beers that I got to try. That's like up at your top of the top, right? Yeah, Hacker yeah, Shore. yeah. I would definitely, I would definitely get this. This is good. I didn't realize that Marzen is, you know, is typically a uh, a fall style beer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's it's almost exclusively Oktoberfest. Yeah, 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 definitely. I would. I'll rate it a four point five uh, Pacifics. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, Blondie, what do you got on this? Well, it's pretty good. <laughs> so, That's fair to say. Um... <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to take what Munkin said earlier and just give it, like, five bloody catheters. Oh. <laughs> nice. Or or I could take it up a notch. Uh-huh. You, you I, I don't do know that? if there is. You, you can wanna, try. Go yeah. ahead. Let's hear it. Yeah. Five numb vaginas. Nice. <laughs> numb vaginas for the win. Yeah. Yep. Numb vaginas for the win, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I'm going to rate this 475 uh, bonus boners. <laughs> 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 That's a throwback to the other episode. Watch our fucking podcast, y'all. That's yeah, right. Go back to one fifteen. It's right on there. Yes, titties and beer. Titties and beer. Thank God, I love titties. Shorty, what do you got on this, man? Uh, I'm going to give this a five point topless blonde. Damn, <laughs> nice. Five point is yeah. pretty good. Yeah. No, I mean I do. I love this. This is, this. A this great is right beer. up there with the uh, with the uh, wise and the brow wise. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was uh, really bummed out whenever you guys did the Ianger. Yeah. Because that's my favorite. And whenever he yeah. said, oh, this is my favorite, like, yep, that's why. Because that's, <laughs> yeah. that's been my favorite for years. It's yeah, such a good beer, man. It's one of those beers when you're walking around in the store and you're like, I don't know what I want. And you're already carrying something. It's like, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try. Oh, never mind. I want you that. You set that yeah. down. Yeah. You grab. Yep, I did it. Yeah. Yep. Been yeah. there, done that. That happens. I, what Was it the... Uh... Was it the Browise that was your favorite favorite, or was it the Erweiss? The I Irv, I, I like the Erweiss. Erweiss the best. Yeah. The Browise I love, I love, and it's it's real close. Like if I could rate it a a four point nine nine, I would. Yeah, right. it's that it's pretty close. But yeah, yeah, I uh, I don't think I've ever rated, but like three or four beers a five point oh. Yeah, so yeah. For yeah. me to say this, I like I love this beer. This is 
Clown Shoes themselves is a brewery. They're like a five star brewery. I yeah. have had nothing by them before. I've never even heard of them really? until tonight, which I is crazy. Yeah. In, when I went to Quinchers in Alasa, that guy told me that every I'm not even joking. He said every Oktoberfest beer is brewed the same and they all taste the same. Horse, and, well, that guy is a shit. fucking and they because I was like because I was trying to find something for Munkin and he was like, yeah, they're all basically the same. No, they're not. There's a difference between you should have just the like Sierra scrolled Nevada up to our fucking our the, beer reviews and be like, motherfucker, let me where is this, you. Which one does this guy is work in? Let me Owasso. tell you. Okay, the Quinchers in Owasso. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking. Does that dress. mean he's a wine? I'm gonna call their manager. He's a. I'm gonna cut your set brown. Brown hair. I'm gonna be cut waiting my for hair. him outside at closing time. <laughs> I'm gonna cut my Beat hair. I'm gonna cut my hair in a short way. Pull a Nancy and Kerrigan on Karen. him. <laughs> Pour some beer. How does that taste? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this tastes the same. This tastes the same, does it? <laughs> tastes better than your Pinot Grigio. <laughs> yeah. He must you. have been a. You know, when I went in there and I was looking for a specific type of a Pacific, a Pacific type of uh, <laughs> wine for her. I yeah. think, I think it was. I, it, guy that fits the description of what she was saying that helped me out so he may just know wine and that's it that could be that could be it maybe he's mad because he tried to make a fall style beer you know i really just want something that's gonna knock my ass out and oh that's your husband She yeah. wants to be knocked no, out. That's, well, your, like, that's Munkin. You know, Munkin that's, gonna <laughs> knock you out. He will knock oh, your ass out and Jesus. he doesn't taste like shit. That's you. Yeah. You married. Real him. pretty. <laughs> he is your dream beer personified. Uh, that's true. You I'm a person who's been personified. <laughs> You've got to just start dressing up like a bottle like, of beer. Like I just want to have a glass. And be like, oh, I don't care. He's about a tall anything. drink of water. Yeah, mm. For sure. <laughs> Man, this blue collar beer kind of story has gotten off the rails. But oh, I think yes. a good one. That way. is okay. This is a good beer. Yeah. I do. I really love this beer. It's one of the I best mean, beers I've ever had. I'm pretty sure I would drink it even if I hadn't already been kind of drunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you would. You, you would, I, you would like it. Love this beer. Oh, yeah, she, she would like this. I good. sometimes I feel weird. Like I'll go back and rewatch some of these. Uh, reviews. I'm like, did I really rate that beer that way? Because that's not how I remember it. This one, I'm sure I'll rewatch it and be like, yeah, no, that's a five star beer all yeah. the way. Yeah. I'm excited, man. I love the fact that the Owasso Liquor and Wine has has put in the the coolers and stuff, yeah. man. Man, I can't wait to try more different beers because I. At one point, I thought I played that whole place out. Like, I've tried every fucking beer in this place. What the hell? And now they've got an entire new selection. So, yeah. <laughs> Can't wait. We need to take BCBC into a tap room. Yeah. Oh, my God. That would be amazing. Oh, we went to a place. It was called Tap Room in Owasso. Yeah. It was pretty, or not Owasso. Tap it Works? Was Arkansas. Was it? Wait. It was in uh, Arkansas, okay, Arkansas, and it was called. I think there's a place around here called Tap Works. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We yeah. went to a place. Yeah. It was pretty state. cool. I liked it. I w- kind of wished it was here because it was really just kind of neat to get in there. Yeah. And it I mean, was they very had laid back. Like in the middle of the liquor store, they just have like a little bar set up with a bunch of taps, and you can yeah. sit down and drink draft beer at the liquor store. And kombucha. Cool. Yeah. You know kombucha. what I've heard? Like, if. Really? There's a. Because, you know. Weird. That's cool. You know how Budweiser has a brewery here? Right. Uh, I've heard that you can go take a uh, tour there, and then when you're done, you can go drink whatever beer you want. But the first beer you have to drink is a full strength or just like a regular Budweiser. Have you like guys... that's the like it's mandatory if you're gonna drink beer, you have to drink right. a Budweiser first. Yeah, I could stomach it. Have you guys tried the Copper Lager yet? From... No, no, no from Bud. No, I haven't tried one last night. It's and... Okay, <clears throat> yeah, it's decent. I, I mean, their Freedom beer is you, the yeah. Freedom like beer the best one I've but had. The, from but them. the Copper Lager is so much better than the really. Freedom beer. The problem, the problem I thought with the Freedom Man, beer I'm about to was. Try it now. Like you have Budweiser and then you have the Freedom beer. The problem with the Freedom beer is you got a good taste up front, but you were still left with that same lager like aftertaste. Crispy nothingness. Yes, type of, there's yeah. nothing but the copper lager. When you drink it, at first you're like, oh, Budweiser. But then afterwards you're like, it doesn't leave you with any of that. It says, it says hints of caramel and vanilla notes in it. But I mean, I don't know if I 
gathered that, that really yeah. from it's one of those ones where the description doesn't really fit it may be more for like sensitive but beer the taste drinkers. is good and i drank a, a co-worker gave me one to try out from a six pack then another co-worker co-worker buy a six pack and drink one and didn't like it so he's gonna give them give me the other five so mm. i'll hold on to him for a couple of weeks <laughs> nice and then you guys can try it the owasso liquor and wine place does have the freedom beer you buy a 12 pack you get a six pack free Really? They've got that much. Yeah, I almost bought some, but I was like, mm, uh, I need like a sandwich or something. <laughs> <laughs> Sandwiches. Mm. Those ratings coming up on new <laughs> <What>? <laughs> sub sandwich connoisseur. <laughs> 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 I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, you know, it's really heavy on the lettuce. But four point seven five turkey bacon, a- turkey bacon avocado. All right. Oh my god! I love it. All right, everybody. Thank you for tuning in once again. Uh, we'll be back in a week or two with another blue collar beer connoisseur. See ya. <laughs>